Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So in today's video, I would like to share with you some information on H-1B visa. This is the working visa, and I would like to uh, explain what are the qualifications in order to um, have a petition for H-1B. Are you ready? So let's begin. So first, we need to know um, the different qualifications. So the H-1B category is used by U.S. employers to bring foreign professional workers temporarily to the U.S. And this visa classification is reserved for specialty occupations, which means that the occupation must require the theoretical and practical application of specialized knowledge. And I will explain that further to you, okay? So first, this visa requires a bachelor's degree. So everyone who is uh, aiming to get uh, an H-1B, they should have a bachelor's degree in the areas of engineering and mathematics, education like the teachers and other professionals that are worker, working in the educational setting like the counselor, the librarian, and all that. And that includes also physical sciences, medicine and health, biotechnology, and business specialties. So these are some of the degrees that can qualify for H-1B visa. So H-1B visa requires labor certification condition. So for employers who are wishing to petition an employee or worker to come and work for them, the U.S. employer must file first a labor certification condition. It's stating there uh, what kind of uh, company they have, are they eligible to petition, can they pay, um, do they have accreditation, and so forth and so on. And then uh, petition to the U.S. Department of labor or the DOL. An employer must have tax ID number from IRS. So that will be submitted when they do the LCA or labor certification condition and must have the ability to hire and pay their employees. So it means their asset should pass the requirement and they are capable of supervising the employees or workers in the workplace. So those are some of the basic condition for employers to petition someone from foreign country as an H-1B or under an H-1B visa. So H-1B visa, usually when you apply for this, they will give you three years at a time. And uh, sometimes they, they will issue one year and that's fine, but they can, it can be extended. But I think nowadays um, they give initially three years and it may be extended to maximum of six years. An employer can petition for green card also when that six years was maximized. It means uh, after having an H-1B, or working visa and your employer is satisfied with your performance and they want you to stay in their company or the school, then they can petition you for a green card. And uh, that includes also your dependents. Uh, H-1B, um, I think they have what you call the H-4 for the dependents. And the dependents, these are your, uh, the spouse, um, if a teacher or someone is married, so it should be, they should present their marriage contract to uh, establish that that's the legal spouse. And as well as the minor children, 18 years old and below. So these are the dependents that can qualify for H-4. And the foreign worker, once they have the H-1B visa, they can travel in and out of the U.S. or remain in the U.S. continuously until his or H-1B status expires. So um, the only uh, thing here is if, let's say, um, 
your visa stamp is expired, then you need to go again and have an interview with any U.S. embassy to stamp your visa. But you can go in and out of the U.S. as long as your H-1B is valid. And that is up to six years. And those are the simple requirements for H-1B visa because uh, nowadays uh, for school setting, not all teachers are qualified for J-1. Those teachers that are not considered as a teacher of record or they are just teaching electives, um, they are not qualified for J-1. And also the librarian and counselor, they are not qualified for J-1, but they can qualify for H-1B. You need to make some research and notify your employer that if you are not qualified for J-1, then you can qualify for H-1B. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you next time. And to God be the glory. Bye for now. Thank you.